Stampers is Gigi with Stamp Fanatics and today I have this cute little card for you. It's with our cute little hedgehog and I've kind of mixed him with our little coffee cups that are still in our annual catalog. The framelits are. Now the stamp set that I use this little saying is from the Merry Cafe that we had over the holidays. This one hasn't returned though but if you've already got it it's this little saying right here otherwise you can use the ones that are in the hedgehogs. There's one saying hedgehogs, sending hedgehogs your way. I just thought this was cute because it said love is brewing and I knew I wanted to use the um, framelits that come with the cute little set coffee cafe. And these are still, like I said, in our annual catalog. And what I'm using, I'm gonna be using, if you can see, they still have the, oops, I'm sticking, the framelits for all of the larger cups. And then I'm using this little tiny one today. So that's what I'll be cutting out my designer paper with. So those are the stamp sets we're using. Um, let me see what else we're gonna be using. We're gonna use um, our Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper. And that's where I'm getting this cute little hearts from. It's actually the Bubble and Fizz on the back. This is something you can earn free with a $50 purchase of products before shipping and tax and everything. And this is free, so you can pick out a whole pack of paper. Let me get the paper and I'll show you. They have some very, very cute, I mean, one side is this beautiful um, silvery metallic with green, and then you have bubbles kind of like on the other side with lots of colors. You do have the fizz and um, bottles that match uh, stamp set that we have now in our new occasions catalog. And this paper coordinates nice with it, but if you didn't have that set, you can still use this paper. It's bright, beautiful. And like I said, it's got some stars and hearts, bottle caps, um, little stripes on the other side. I mean, one side's always bold and the other side is just, you know, a neutral pattern that you could use for any of your card making. So that's what I'm gonna be using today for this card. Also a piece of Whisper White cardstock, um, Calypso Corals and Soft Suede are my colors. And I'm going to use the Sweet and Sassy Framelits. And that's these, those are the ones that are all the different hearts. And we're gonna be using the smaller ones also, I'm going to be using out of my framelits the largest of my circle of my stitched framelits. So that's about everything I think we need on here. You're going to need your big shot. You're also going to need one of your blender pens because I'm going to show you how to drag some color on that hedgehog. And also, um, I have the clear Wink Estella because I don't know if you can see it with the lights, but I did add some sparkle to his hair and also to that little heart there. And it does show up pretty good, but maybe not on this film. So let's go ahead and get started. So I took a piece of um, Calypso Coral cardstock and it measures five and a half by eight and a half. And then I just scored it in the middle at four and a quarter. So that'll be our card base. So I'm just gonna fold that. And then I cut a piece of Whisper White, and this is down a quarter inch. So it measures five and a quarter by four, and that we can go ahead and attach to the card. I'm just gonna use a little bit of snail. Let me just see if I got that. I wanna straighten that out just a little bit more. There we go, okay. And so we're just gonna add our piece of Whisper White to the border. Okay, this still is not straight. Let me get my bone folder and use that. Maybe I'll get a better crease. Okay, and hopefully that won't make me off. There we go. Okay, and then I took a piece of soft suede cardstock, and this again came down a quarter inch. So this is going to measure three and three quarters by five. And what I'm going to be using to emboss this with, I didn't think I'd mentioned this before, is our Pinewood Planks Dynamic, which this is the thick ones, the very 3D um, wood plank look. So I'm just going to take my card, and I kind of did it vertically like this, and I'm just going to place my cardstock right in the middle. Okay, there we go. So I'm bringing in my Big Shot. I'm going to be using Tab 1 on my Big Shot and also take my embossing folder. Now, because like I said, this is those really thick dynamic ones, I'm only gonna use one of my, get this straight, 
There we go. I'm only going to use one of my plates. So I'm going to put that right down, put my plate on top, and then run it through the big shot. You don't need your second plate on these thick ones. Right, and so that just gives it a little embossing and a little interest like that on our card okay and so this I'm gonna actually add a piece of our designer cardstock this is that bubble and fizz I told you about and it measures one inch this way and three and three quarters and I'm just gonna glue it right down on the bottom there of our brown piece and because it's embossed, I'm going to use my fast fuse. When you have something that's raised up, it just holds everything down better. And when you're using this, it's just a slight glide and a flick. You don't want to mash it down like maybe you do your snail. If you do a larger pressure, you just want to lightly glide it over. And these work perfect. Okay, and I'm just going to add that to the bottom of my card. All right, to give it a little color. Okay, then I have already cut out my stitch circle with the Big Shot. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my little hedgehog. And it's going to be in chocolate chip ink. And I'm going to show you a little technique on how to color him. So I'm just going to ink him up. Get him on there. And then I take my blender pen, and I'm gonna be careful not to go into his little needles, I guess they are. <laughs> and I'm just gonna drag from the darker brown and start coloring, and I don't need to use any other ink. I can actually drag it right from what I just stamped. And we'll just color him in a little bit. I'm picking up, like I said, the browns from around the edge of his needles. I want to kind of leave those white. I thought they looked cuter white. I did one coloring them over and it really darkened the whole effect. So I am going to just go ahead and color it in a little bit like that. He's adorable. I love these hedgehogs. Um, if you go to my blog stampfanatics.com, you'll see a picture of my dog, <laughs> Ginger. I have two. They're sisters. We, we kind of rescued them when they were puppies because they were abandoned by, uh, I don't know, whoever owned them. And um, they've grown up together, and they've been really good. Love each other. They're all about seven years old now. Well, for Christmas, she got a hedgehog, and she, it's her baby. I mean, she just goes around the house with it in her mouth, sleeps with it. So I put a cute picture on there, and that's what inspired this card was to do a hedgehog, because she's just in love with hers, and I thought, oh, how cute. So... All right, let's get into back. We'll get the big shot back. Well, actually, you know what? Let me stamp our thing first quickly, and then we'll do all of our, our punching out on the big shot at one time. So like I said, I'm using the little stamp that says um, Love is Brewing, and I had this from the little Mary Cafe from Christmas, but I just loved it. So I am going to use it. You can use any set. You can use the sayings if you don't have this set from your um, hedgehogs because they have cute sayings in that too. Okay, now, now I'll bring in my big shot and I'm going to bring in my magnetic platform. And then I'm going to put in one of my plates and then I'm going to do a little bit of cutting at one time. I need a coral piece with a bigger heart. And then I'm using the smaller heart that'll fit inside it for my Love is Brewing. And I'm just going to, I guess that's pretty good. Let's move it over just a smidge. There we go. And actually, we can do our coffee cup, too. Let me see if I can fit that. I'll cut this down a little bit, and then we'll have some more room. Let's just cut this piece in half. There we go. Okay, so that'll still fit. Okay, I have a little scrap here of the designer paper. Let's move this up a little more. And I'm just looking to put that heart somewhere in the center of this little cup framelit. And I'm going to go ahead and run that through, and then I will have one more thing to do after that. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so I have my thing. And I have my cup. Let's get 
that. Oops. Let's put them over here. And I also have my outline for my heart that's going to go in the back. So we've got all those done. But one more thing. I just put this back in my big shot and took a piece of the white and I just went as far as the lip on this cup so that I could get the lid in white. Let me push that up more so you can see it. I'm just going along the edge where the cup part is and I'm just gonna cut that part so I can put a lid on my cup in white. All right, so when you take it out, this is all you're getting is this tiny little piece here. So that'll be the lid on our cup. Okay, I think we have all of our pieces now. Let's get rid of the big shot. Let's bring our card back in. Okay, and here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little tiny lid on my cup and I'm just taking a little bit of snail just kind of tuck it under and then I'm just going to put it right over the cup like that. Let's see, I think I went a little crooked. I actually find it's a little easier if maybe you start upside down and if you have a little teeny bit showing, you can just cut it off. It's not going to show. Okay, let's get that little corner out. There we go, and that's your little cup. So let's see, I've got my hedgehog. I'm gonna take a dimensional and just pop this little cup up and put it sort of on a diagonal. I didn't really wanna hide his little flower. I thought his little flower was really cute. So I'm just kind of tilting it off to the side. And I actually did use my Calypso Coral blend and just colored in that flower to accent cute little flower and then let's see I think I put him on the card next with some dimensionals this new occasions catalog and celebration is so much fun I hope you've gotten your catalogs if not I'd be happy to mail you one just leave a comment and I'll get a, in touch with you and um, mail you out a copy it goes from um, our celebration goes from January 1st, so it's already started, through March 31st. And for every $50 product, you get to earn a free item. There's actually a second level this year where you can take um, $100 on two of the products and buy framelits, or you can buy, um, it's like a double stamp set. It's really a good buy. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. And like, again, because this is embossed, I am going to take my snail and use that to attach it to my card. Okay. And then we still have our little hearts. Now I did pop up the white one to the coral and I'm kind of mindful on how many times I pop things up because I do want it to be able to go through the mail. So if I pop up this, I won't do that on the card. I will just use some snail. Now, because this is centering right here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of snail on each of the corners. Maybe a little there. And just put him right above like that. Now, if you noticed, right here when I stamped, yes, even I do it, um, I have a little smudge there. But don't fear, <laughs> I have a remedy. I have these cute enamel shapes this is the, clip, the coral color, Calypso Coral, and I'm just gonna plunk that little heart right there on top, and that'll cover it up. So I wouldn't start all over, not for one little smudge. I would just always cover it with something. And we have so many great embellishments. There's always something. There's rhinestones. Um, there's some of these, these great, let's see if I have some here. Here we go. These um, are called clear faceted gems. They have some in gold. There's just tons of things that you can do for a tiny little smudge, so I wouldn't worry about it. I'm human, I make mistakes, I make a little smudge now and then, and if it's not that bad, I don't start over. So I hope you take that little tip and use that for your card making. 
Um, I always keep these on hand. I have them in, this is the Brights collection. They're all the different colors that are in our Brights that match all of our paper. So there you have it. Now, the last little part I wanted to do to make them sparkle a little bit is I just took a little wink of Stella and I did my little heart. And then I just kind of lightly went over his little hair. I don't know what you call hair on a hedgehog. So if you know, leave me a comment and clue me in because I think it's just needles. I don't really know. But um, there he is. And even if you want to sparkle this part up a little bit, you can do that too because that would be cute. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you want the supplies that I used, just go to stampanatics.com and you can get a written PDF on it. And if you leave a comment, tell me what you think, or if you make mistakes or whatever you want to tell me as a comment, um, I'll enter your name to win this card and I'll go ahead and send it out with the PDF that tells you, uh, not the PDF, but this little printout that will tell you how to make more. So. I hope you had a great day and thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the card and, and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be making a lot more out of our Occasions catalog. Thanks and have a great day.